Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this complex system of equation by using this calculator. Okay, when you solve a circuit, you will have a matrix of equation that looks like this. And the problem is solving this manually is a mess. So you need some tools to, what is it, to solve it efficiently and easily. So we have this kind of matrix here we have four two by two matrix here so we have two equation with two variables so the first thing that we need to do is we give name to each of the numbers that on the matrix maybe let's give name to the number the number here as a and here as b here as c and here as d and v1 and v2 is just unknown variables but we need we give name to this also so this is e and this is f so we will have our matrix here becomes a b c d and then multiplied by v1 and v2 so v1 and v2 and that will equal to e and f okay now we are going to solve this using Kramer's method. So Kramer's method. What is Kramer's method? Kramer's method is just by, we got V1 here by dividing delta 1 with delta. And what is delta 1 and delta? We will talk about it later. And V2 here will be delta 2 divided by delta okay now the easiest thing to do is the delta which is the determinant of this matrix and the determinant of that matrix will be ad minus pc or maybe let's rewrite this as the symbol first so that is the determinant of a b and c and d and that will equal to ad minus pc okay now we also get that the same matrix here they the same determinant so i will have a b c d here and here i will have ad minus pc so ad minus pc and what is delta one delta one is just this matrix but with the first column replaced by the result column so we will have the determinant of this ac is replaced by ef so i will have ef here and this one will be still pd and the determinant we will have ed minus pf okay and delta 2 what is delta 2 delta 2 is this matrix but the second column pd is replaced by ef so i will have ac here and ef here now we will get the determinant of this which is af minus ec right okay now what we need to do is plug a b c d e and f into calculator so let's do that Okay, first let's set up the calculator into complex mode. You see this button here, just press that. And then number two, number two is complex mode calculator. So I'll have number two. And now let's plug in the value of A, which is three plus J4. But we electrical engineering using I for J for not mistaken for uh, current. So we will have three plus four I in the calculator. Let's store this, how to store it press shift here and store this as a a is here so you see a b c d e and f here right you can use that for saving variable okay so this is the variable a and then let's move on to variable b so i will have six minus j8 so i will have eight i and let's store that as variable b okay and do the same for C and D. So I will have 5 minus 
12th of i and we save this as c and then this one 4 plus 7 i as d okay now we have completed a b c and d but now we need to input the e and f okay so i will have six angle of 30 how to input angle so we press the number first and then angle is just this so i will have shift and angle of 30 degrees do not forget to set it as degrees not radian right so i will have six angle of 30 and we will need to store this as e so this is the value of e and lastly we have five angle of 45 degrees as f so let's do that five angle of 45 and then shift store as f okay now we have completed a b c d e and f now what we can do is just plug in this number here okay we have fraction here and for the numerator we will have ed minus pf so let's recall recall e and then recall d minus recall b and then recall f okay and for the denominator i will have ad minus pc so recall a recall d and then minus recall b and then recall c okay now we have the value of p1 so here is it so to see the completed form of this we can press the s to d here so here i will have 0 0.233 plus 0 0.4 Four one two. Okay, let's maybe copy that. That will be zero point two. What? Two three four. And then plus zero point four one two. Zero point four one two j. Okay, but usually when you calculate voltage or current we need to make it in the polar coordinate so how to do that let's press shift here and then complex here number two and input number three which is convert into polar and we will have this and press s to d again so i will have 0 0.474 0 0.4 seven four and the angle will be sixty point forty three okay we'll have sixty point forty three sixty point forty three degrees okay this is for v one so this is the polar form and this is the cartesian form we can do the same for v2 let's just calculate v2 by doing the same thing which is fraction and then recall a recall f minus recall e recall c then divided by recall a recall d minus recall b recall c and that's all and let's press the equal button and we will have the Cartesian form press s to d to see all of them so i will have 0 0.302 0 0.302 plus 0 0.4 0 0.541 okay 0 0.541 0 0.541 okay and because we usually get the result in polar coordinate let's convert that shift and then this number two complex and convert it into polar which is number three and we will get this and let's convert it into let's press s to d to see all of them so i will have 0 0.62 okay 0 
0.620. Okay, I think 0.620 is fine. 0.620 and the angle here will be 60.810. 60.81. Yeah, I think that's that's it. And this is the value of V2. That is how to use this Casio FX570 calculator to calculate a complex system of equation. And I think that's all. Maybe this will be helpful for you. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.